Good morning everyone, my name is Sarah King and I am a freelance ceramicist here in Port Elizabeth. It is with great excitement that I get to share my testimony with you this morning and yeah, just the story of how I came to know Jesus personally. So my mom and dad gave their lives to the Lord when I was about six years old. So I pretty much grew up in a home with parents that were devoted, still are devoted to the Lord and really do love him and have laid their, their lives down to serving him. And I grew up watching people change because of Christ, watching people be set free and encounter the living God and yeah, I've just experienced um, greater measures of joy and coming into a life of fresh new hope because of the hope they'd found in Jesus. And so there was this deep conviction in my heart that Jesus is real, God is real, and there is no other way. Like he is the only way to live your life, to serve him. And so when I was about eight years old, I remember praying and, and asking the Lord to take my life and really just, yeah, to serve him. And I confessed my sin and I yeah, surrendered my heart to him. I don't believe I had an actual revelation of my sin at eight years old. And so from that point on growing up, I had a very warped understanding of God um, due to my circumstances, whether at school or just other people's brokenness. My understanding of the Lord was informed by discipline and informed by striving and performance. So from school days, I remember seeing people achieve and they would work really hard and it meant um, a result of excellent uh, achievement. And so in my mind, I equated that to the same as working really hard for the Lord and living according to a very high moral standard for the Lord meant you would have a relationship with him and that he would want to know you. And I also had the understanding that he was a very firm disciplinarian. And so I had a lot of fear of him. And so I didn't ever want to step out of line or experience um, or be disobedient because I knew there'd be a consequence and I knew I would um, be in trouble. And he would, I felt like he was this big mighty God that could just squash me like a bug if he really wanted to. And so I lived a lot out of fear of stri fear to strive for the Lord's affirmation and his, um, yeah, I guess his affection even and his approval, not understanding the actual character and heart of God and that he is gracious and kind and he is very merciful, like his mercy is abundant for me. And so my whole life I really worked incredibly hard to be pleasing before the Lord and I really struggled to believe that actually there was anything wrong with me or like that I was sinful because on the outside, I was obedient. I didn't respond with out outright rebellion, sorry. And so because of that, I kind of didn't see where my shortcomings were. I didn't really see my sin. And that really actually separated me from the Lord. So that mixed with striving to earn his, um, his approval and his acceptance really set me far from the Lord. Even though my great heart's desire was, I really want to know God. and I really want to be in relationship with him. And growing up, I remember just having this incredibly lonely vacuum in my heart. And I knew that wasn't right because I saw the people around me that were serving the Lord they were full they were absolutely full with joy and love and yeah just um, super satisfied by the Lord and I really longed for that anyway fast forward a few years after school I was studying and I just became really desperate actually like God if you are real if you're there like I need your help um, and the Lord sent some friends and they invited me to another church, which um, I reluctantly uh, went to visit. And I walked in and I really just encountered the Holy Spirit afresh. And I knew that this was my new home. And as I got plugged into this body, I just started encountering the love of Jesus like I really hadn't actually experienced personally before. I was surrounded with a body of believers that were very intentional with me, that really sought to walk alongside me, to, to show me even the heart of the Lord through their actions, through the way they loved me relentlessly, even though I was actually incredibly broken. And the Lord pursued me. He has pursued my heart. My whole life but when I finally recognized my sinfulness before the Lord there was an incident where I was confronted with my sin whilst I was studying and it was very hard and but it was the Lord's kindness to show me that actually without him I'm incredibly I've got a terrible wicked nature 
and I really just confessed my sin before the Lord and I just devoted my heart to him and as I have sought him out over the last couple of years just with all my heart and yeah I just recognize that in me there is no good thing but in the Lord he is all good he is all sufficient he's all satisfying and he is good he's a good father he is not a firm hardcore disciplinarian he will discipline us when we sin but he is also a god of love and he's drawn me to himself and i've really come to know that those who call on the name of the lord will be saved and he does hear us his ear is not too dull to hear those who call on him and so yeah today i would urge you to call on the name of the lord because he is pursuing your heart and he wants to know you and there is no greater freedom no greater joy no greater life than there is to be found in Jesus Christ and now I can honestly say with all my heart I have life in abundance and I love Jesus with all my heart so go looking for him because he's pursuing you too